Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today's topic is how to check a number is prime or not using unique cell programming. So before we go to the program, let us understand the logic behind it. For that case, first we need to know the condition of the prime number which we study in our childhood. That is, if a number is only divisible by 1 and that number is said to be prime and otherwise it is said to be non-prime. So every number which is divisible by 1 every number which is divisible by 1 and that number like here I am writing number every number which is divisible by only 1 and that number is said to be prime okay For example, if we consider a number, suppose 6, 6 is divisible by 1 and also 6, like 6, 6, a number, 6 is divisible by 1, we can say, and also 6. So, is 6 a prime number? No, 6 is not a prime number because 6 is also divisible by 2 and 3. So, for checking the prime number in our program, we need to follow this logic. Okay. If if the number is divisible by any number between two and that particular number in this range, then we call the number is non-prime. Otherwise, it is prime. If a number is divisible between this range two and that number, minus one between this range okay suppose you want to check 27 is a prime or not sorry here 27 from 2 up to 26 okay so if 27 is divisible between this uh, by any number it, it is said to be non-prime ok so in the program we don't need to divide uh, from 2 up to number minus 1 we simply calculate it number divided by 2 okay up we only divide from 2 up to the number divided by 2 times it by between this range because we don't need to calculate uh, up to number minus 1 because it take more execution time okay if we use this number divided by 2 then uh, so after this number of division we after calculating After calculating by div division by num 
divided by 2 we can get our result okay so let's go to the unix terminal and see how we write the program so now i am on my cjun terminal screen now i create a file by typing vi after the file name and at last but not the least the cell script registration that is dot sh okay so let's type vi suppose i am taking the file name is dot time dot sh let's hit enter and let's see the vi editor is opened now we print a string in the terminal for that case we use the echo command so here i am writing that enter the number okay so let's see if it is running or not escape colon and wq or save the file for running a sl script program in the unix terminal we write simply sh prime dot sh okay. let's see here the enter is the number is saying okay after that we need to take the checking number as input uh, for taking the run byte input from the user we need to write the read keyword okay so let's write suppose here i am taking the variable name is num after that i am taking a variable that is i for the number of times we divide it by i or the number by i okay and after that we need to a flag variable flag equals to zero so why i am taking this flag variable i will discuss later so after that we need to randomly calculate the modular division the number by the i variable okay and increase the value of i for that case we need to write a loop and here we need to write the condition that is value of i is then equals to the loop is executes from i equals to 2 and the number which was entered by the user divided by two times okay after that we need to write the body of the loop so after that we need to calculate the modulo division and check the result is zero or not okay so let's see what i am doing for that if here i am writes x an expression on the if statement so for that case we need to write the ex pair for the expression modulo division color of i okay the value of the expression equals to zero then we state the flag is one simply break the statement by the break statement we exit the loop from the loop and let's terminate the a file or let's terminate the 
if statement after that we need to increase the value of the i so here for increasing the value of the i we need to write an expression that is r here uh, no increment or decrement operator like plus plus or minus minus is used like the c language here you can you need to write the ex expression for increment or decrement and after, at last we need to check the value of the flag zero if the flag is equals to zero then what will be print then it will print the number is non prime now obviously if the if the reminder of the number uh, and i is equals to zero then obviously the number is not prime Or else yeah. so let's run the program and finish the if I state Suppose here I am taking the 5, the number is not prime. Hope I do something wrong in the program. So let's check that. So let's see the flag is equal to 0, and here I come the condition. I write the flag equal to equal to zero. Here the zero should be one. Why? Let's take that. Here I entered the five. So loop is starts from num divided by two. So what is the num divided by two? That is five divided by two. That is always takes the integer part that is two. So loop will execute from two up to two. Or we you can say the loop is execute for one time. Okay. So here expression will be checked. Num modulo division i equal to zero. So it is not equal to zero. So it simply increments the value. And after that, it will be checked. So here in this above condition, i less than equal to ex here num divided by two. It will be uh, 2 or here the in value of i is incremented here i equal to 3 so the condition is not matched so simply takes the this if condition flag the dollar of flag equal to 0 flag is always equal to 0 so then it will be print the number is not prime okay so here we need to do zero we need to replace the zero by one let's see what will happen So let's see the number is prime or run it one more time and enter a non prime number that is 8 the number is not prime so let's see the program by try run
so let's see the program one more time by the trident for better understanding First echo here the terminal screen will be print enter the number and we and it will be stopped and it want some input from the user suppose I am here taking the put that is I entered is eight okay so it will be stored in the num variable okay now num equals to eight Um, equals to 8 after that I declare i equals to, to i i variable में 2 है okay after that I set flag flag is also variable flag equal to 0 okay so after that here the control will go to the this condition i less than equal to expr num divided by 2 so let's calculate the num divided by 2 that is So here the loop is starts from 2 and ends in the 4 ok so i so now the value of the i is 2 and expr num and modular division i equals to 0 yes here i am calculating the value the division operation here the modular division is uh, here the it is equals to 0 and the if condition is satisfied okay so then we initially simply initialize the flag is one so now the flag is one and after that we break that means we simply exit the loop after that it checks the value of flag is equals to one yes the condition is true the flag is equals to one then it will print the number is dot prime Hope you understand.